feel really free and like I feel like I can kind of like it's sort of like painting but not really but it like I feel like I can kind of do whatever I want well not really I can't drum on the piano but I can kind of put down the notes that I want my favorite animals I love dogs cats and horses but most of all I like cats I right. feel like last life I was a cat I also love to read and I also love crafts like I used to be really fond of drawing now I still like it but not as much as I did before and now I really like clay for me I'm not that fond of the really really classical but I really kind of like the romantic classical I'm in fourth grade and I go to school in Christopher McCullough school we, well I was born in New York then something happened. I'm not so clear about it. No, uh, <laughs> just in uh, 2007, we came to Concord. I attended Franklin Pierce Law Center. Now it's part of UNH. Uh, and it was hard to convince Ching Yao to move here. Emma was willing more easily. But uh, no, what was we are, we are, since 2007, we are in Concord. Emma was three years old at the time. One day I was holding her and swing my body with uh, one piece of music, I think probably by Beethoven, but soft. I don't recall a piece now, and I was swinging with her like this. All of a sudden she raised one hand and kind of went with the music very softly. And I said, I said, am I crazy? I, I, I was thinking, am I be becoming one of the crazy mother thinking the child is so special. You, you, oh, you, you used to lie down under the piano while you were yeah. playing. While I play, she that. usually lie down, mm -hmm. I would put a pillow there and she would drink her milk. <laughs> and she enjoyed it very much. And also, sometimes I play while she is, is in bed and before she really falls into sleep. The first time she did composition was a few months after violin lessons. Before she was five, she came out with a piece very short, only with open string. One mm -hmm. very short piece, and she performed it in music school. Yeah. Yeah, I stood on this violin, right. and it was my first violin. Right. So you now it goes up to my elbow. <laughs> my husband. Yeah, I'm, I told Emma that basically this is the size that when Emma was born. I mean that was, she was exactly very her size. I kept her. That was her head here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny, and she insisted on. We rented it at the beginning, but she insisted uh, to keep it, so we, we had to purchase it, even though she, she went to a bigger size. All right, the so way she composed uh, is she, I mean, at the beginning, Ching Yao was uh, at the beginning there was nothing. I mean, Ching Yao was in the kitchen, she heard uh, Emma playing and she heard kinds of so sounds that uh, were very intriguing and, and she came to record her with our video camera and from basically she got to a practice where Emma will start the video camera while composing and later she will listen and view what she is doing and and revamp it and uh, and change it and, and that's the pro that was the process. So. Right. The 
thing is she cannot really explain how she does it because she never went to the the lesson for mm -hmm. it. No so formal first, training. right, no formal training. So she just did it by her feeling. So when one interview how she does it, she usually doesn't know how to answer it. And also when I try to compose, usually nothing comes out. Like I can play notes and stuff, but it won't like it's usually like in the middle of practicing or something that it comes out. That it when it comes, it comes. I'm dreaming of being a soloist in both instruments. Well that would be really hard, but that's what I really want to do.